Welcome back, everybody. It's your boy T. It's been a minute since I dropped a uh, actual video. I've been doing shorts, but uh, but yeah, I just been doing been busy, man, with work and stuff. And uh, yeah, I just do quick shorts, but I'm gonna do a little full video on this one so y'all can see playing in my shorts. So right now, as you can see, the mountain back there, uh, we're in uh, we're in Tucson, Arizona. So we got this load. We picked it up in West Texas in Odessa, and it's going to uh, San Carlos, California. And like I said, right now we're in we're in Tucson. If it's too loud to the traffic, yeah, you just don't mind the traffic. But yeah, we're in Tucson, and like I said, this load uh, is coming out of Odessa, Texas, going to San Carlos, California. So let me show y'all what this is. So. Here we got a uh, a pole trailer. These are what the electricians use whenever they haul poles. Whenever they go, you know, install those kind of poles like that. And uh, poles and probably wire reels, but they told me that they use it to haul poles like that. And this is an extendable, like there's a pin right there that you pull out. And the tongue extends, I don't know, maybe like an extra 15, 20 feet. But, so you got a, a pole trailer. This trailer weighed 6,500 pounds. And it was 26 feet long. And as you can see, it, it made it. So don't worry, like this, the, the panel is right in the middle. So the mega ramps can fall down and they can drive it off. So this is what we did. I dropped the ramps and they grabbed the forklift, hooked it and they uh, backed it on. It was real, real simple. But yeah, it weighs 6,500 pounds and y'all may say like, man, like why is all the weight on the back of the truck? You'll be surprised. So let me tell you. Again, it weighs 6,500 pounds, right? And uh, the reason the reason why it's like this, the, the axle of this trailer on the back of this truck, because the way it got loaded up. But, so the most weight, like, like don't jump on me if I get the, the lingo wrong, but <clears throat> the most weight that this axle can have is 9740. And I took it to the scale and weighed it. And right now, as we sit like that, full tank, equipment, everything, change binders, everything, we got 7740 on the on the axle. So we're 2,000 plus, we're 2,000 pounds below the max that this axle can have. And I tell you, it, it, when you have a uh, one-ton axle and there's a transmission, you know, you can probably do more. And it looks like it's kind of squatting because because it is but don't worry I got bags I already ordered a bag so that would be another video of me selling airbags on this truck but it doesn't feel heavy at all because I think most of the weight is between the, the truck axle and this and uh, currently the weight on these axles is only like 3,000 pounds so and these are 7k axles together 14k and the scale said that the current weight right now on these two axles is a 8820 if I'm correct and uh 14k so I still got like 5,000 pounds you know to put on and uh overall weight truck and trailer and like everything it came uh to 21,800 pounds so we're below uh, city 08, so that's why I don't run IFTA because I don't I don't exceed 26,000 pounds. So y'all might say, well, why don't you have IFTA if you're doing CDL? Because I don't exceed the weight of 26,000 pounds. And yes, y'all are saying like it is a CDL setup, so you gotta run IFTA. No, if you exceed the physical weight of truck and trailer, everything more than 26,000 pounds then yes, you got to run IFTA. But if you don't exceed that weight, which I never do, you don't got to run IFTA. And yes, I've talked to the to different DOT officers and that's what they said. Like, to run IFTA, you got to weigh physically 26,000 pounds. 
not what the two stickers say on the truck and the trailer. So yes, the stickers of my truck and trailer is 28,000 pounds. So therefore, I do got to have a CDO driver license. But when it comes to IFTA, you physically have to weigh 26,000 plus pounds or more to run IFTA. That's why I don't run IFTA. And yes, I've already talked to DOT officers and no, I do not need IFTA. Because every time I hit the weigh scale or they weigh me, I'm never close to 26,000 pounds. If I had like a 40 foot trailer with, you know, 12K axles or I'm hauling more physically, if I'm hauling and I weigh more than 26,000 pounds, then yes, I need IFTA. But anyways, that's that. So, yeah, I mean, it pays off to have a, uh, the one ton, uh, ton axle because if I had my other truck, I don't know, I think I would have exceeded the weight because those are 2500 but with the, with the one ton axle and dual wheels man this is this is light and going down the road it's very light I, I, I don't feel it back there and uh yes i'm about to get some some hate or whatever because i didn't chain it and bind it all the way but i already driven 700 miles and <laughs> it didn't go anywhere so i just put some straps over this because it's was wiggling but got a little two inch strap and then I strapped it I got one two three one two three four straps and it has not shifted at all it has not moved at all and look at that I am right on run the money no overhang I'm running the money like I said I've got four straps on it and then I chained and bonded up here so if the trailer wanted to shift to the back of the trailer well got that chain and binder and it's telling you it's not going anywhere i've already driven about 700 miles and it has not moved an inch and i went through some bumpy terrain on i-20 and i-10 and I'm telling you it's not going anywhere i got like another uh, about eight nine hours till i get to the drop off but I'm telling y'all hot shot's not dead man you got to go out there and find the work but but yeah See, I, it's still on the money. No overhang, we're good. Tar, but yeah. I didn't have to chain it and bind it. Strap and go. But yeah. Loving this trailer. Like, it's... I've been, I've been thinking about getting a 40-footer. I still may, but... I've really never had to really use all 40 feet. But... but yeah, guys. Again, I said, we're in Tucson. We're at the, at the hotel because I was kind of tired. And like, oh, I'm going to sleep in a super hotel. So, yeah. But, yeah, guys, going from Odessa, Texas to, what I say, San Carlos, California. But, yeah. Again, I apologize if I haven't dropped any, like, full videos and, and just shorts because I've been I've been working, man. I've been just hustling, and I don't got time to sit down and edit and upload videos like that. So I do quick shorts to show y'all some of the stuff that that I've been hauling. But other than that, guys, let's go out there and hustle and let's grind, man. The work's out there, man. I'm telling you, like, I'll just say from from uh, Odessa, Texas, to, to Cali, I was. It is what uh, fourteen thousand, fourteen hundred and seventy miles, give or take. And I put it this way, it pays $4 a mile from Texas to Cali. Do the math. And then I already got freight coming back, and I'll show you all that footage tomorrow, or I will upload it whenever I upload it, but works there, guys. And you better see the airbags on this bad boy here later on. But other than that, guys, uh, my, here's my, my load from uh, Odessa to Cali, and uh, I'll see you until next time, guys. Take it easy.